monsoon in Uttarakhand in many years. Death and devastation reported from Almora, Nainital, Pori, Haridwar, Chamoli, Uttarkashi and Dehradun districts. More than 60 villages have been swept away in the lower reaches of Haridwar and Rishikesh. Important road links remain snapped. But this is what is causing the greatest worry. The Tehri Dam of the Bhagirathi, now menacingly close to its maximum capacity of 830 meters. The state chief minister is visibly worried as he makes a frantic appeal to the center for help. Contentions also arise between the state government and the corporation on water limits. Raja Sarkar ki jo anumati hai TSDC ko wo kewal 820 tak barne ki hai. क्योंकि 820 तक जिन लोगों को हम पनर्वासित टुटली कर चुके हैं, 
and the waters from Uttarakhand unleash fury in the adjoining plains of Uttar Pradesh. Bijnor, Moradabad and Rampur are among the worst affected. Ganga, Ram Ganga and Kosi are all in space. 20 deaths were reported from the state on Monday itself. The Delhi Lucknow National Highway remains closed. In Haryana, heavy rains forced the release of over 7.5 lakh Qsecs from the Hathni Kun Barrage on the Yamuna, the highest discharge in a single day in 100 years. And it won't be long before the waters reach Delhi. The Yamuna was already flowing above the danger mark of 204.83 meters on Monday evening. And this uh, situation that as a result of the incessant rains in the capital and as a result of the lot amount of uh, water that is coming in from Haryana, this can create a problem to the people who are staying in the low-lying areas. It is not a, a reason to panic. That's what the government has assured us. Even the last time, similar situation had arisen when 7 lakh cubic of water had discharged. Yes, the level of water in Yamuna had gone. On, uh, above the danger mark and even this time with uh, so much of water with almost 7 lakh of cubic of water being released situation similar to this can arise and uh, once again uh, incessant rains in the capital can be a problem uh, the national disaster response force is very active in fact we are uh, people are being have been evacuated from the low-lying areas but let me remind you always it happened it arising uh, people, especially the areas in the city which are low-lying like the ISBT and the Rajghat and there are several uh, areas that get flooded in water and uh, this causes a lot of uh, problem to the people. So uh, the best we can do is that uh, the authorities can do and their uh, response, the NDRF people can do is evacuate the people, help them uh, to reach safer areas, ensure that the water doesn't get flooded in the areas, doesn't get accumulated in the areas. For this they need to ensure that the